What's up everyone? This is the Lucas Ross Sports Channel and it is time to give you my prediction for the upcoming Rose Bowl game matchup between the Penn State Nitty Lions and the Utah UTs. Um, this game will be happening in the Rose Bowl. Um, looking at both of these teams, we have a huge matchup here ahead of both of these teams. Um, we got two great quarterbacks going at it, as you can tell by the thumbnail with Sean Clifford and Cameron Rising. Basically how this video works, I will officially give you a prediction, also give you a score prediction. This is kind of similar to, you know, the conference championship predictions, you know, from, you know, those from when conference championship, you know, came out, um, you know, about a couple weeks ago. So, I mean, yeah, that's how the video is going to work. And um, pretty much I'll give you a score prediction at the end of this one as well. So that's how my video is going to work. And we're going to start with the Rose Bowl here. We have... Um, you know, four games, four bowl games to predict, you know, this week. We got the Rose Bowl here. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to do the um, All-State Sugar Bowl between Alabama and Kansas State. And then on Wednesday, I will do the Cotton Bowl between Tulane and USC. And then, of course, I'll do the Orange Bowl between Clemson and Tennessee. So that's how it's going to work. So let's get right into it here with my official prediction here with the Rose Bowl. And we're going to start with the 2022 stats for both of these teams. Uh, we'll start with Penn State. They are averaging about 250.3 yards of passing. Yeah, Sean Clifford has been able to get it done for this team. You know, if you look at him uh, this season, been, people have been kind of like really doubting him a little bit. And also, he, he's thrown 22 touchdowns, so he's been having a really good season. And also, he's been taking care of the football as he was from last year. I think he's going to have to have a big game in this one. Uh, we know Penn State's on a winning streak right now, trying to end out the year. And it comes down to Clifford. It comes really down to him that he can really throw the football down the field. And like I said, this is a Penn State team that I kind of doubted as well. But I'm starting to like this Penn State team a lot more as they head into this bowl game. Uh, they're averaging about 182.1 yards of running. Um, their best runner right now is Nicholas Singleton. Um, he's a freshman running back. I mean, he's had a pretty good season. Um, he's got 10 touchdowns on the year. So, yeah, that's overall pretty good stats there for, you know, the running game for this Penn State team. But they're just going to really have to run the football against a Utah defense that's really good in the rankings. And they can also stop the run. So that's really good news for them. Um, or actually, you know, that's really, um, you know, good news for Utah. So, I mean, maybe they can stop the run in this one. Um, Penn State's averaging about 35.8 points per game, which is really good. Um, this is a better offense of Penn State than last year's team. And I think, um, you know, the, you know, the difference from Penn State from last year to this year is just all about the offense. Defense, they were still good from last year, but the offense has just been a much better um, spot than they were from last year. Um, offensively, they're ranked 35th in the country, so about a top 35 offense, but not close to being a top 30 and a top 25 offense. Defensively, though, they rank number 16. So, I mean, you got a lot of, you know, weapons on that defensive side of the ball if you're Penn State. Now, Sean Clifford does have some weapons at wide receiver as well, so that's really about the um, passing as well for um, Sean Clifford. So, those are the stats for Penn State. Uh, Utah, their passing yards are about 252.5 yards a game. Uh, Cameron Rising has been able to get it done this year. Um, he got it done in the Pac-12 championship game. And also this Utah team a couple weeks ago defeated USC in the Pac-12 championship. So they're on a winning streak as well. They really have got some big wins under their belt. Uh, they average about 40.2 points per game. Um, let's go to the rushing yards, though, before we talk about the points per game. They're averaging about 220.2 yards on the ground. And this is a really good running team. Uh, they got Tavion Thomas, who's the, their star running back. He's a junior. He doesn't have a lot of yards on the year, but he's got seven rushing touchdowns. That's really all that matters. But at least they got the passing game working out for them. And this is a good overall offensive team. They're averaging about 40.2 points per game. That's a high number for this Utah team. I think this team was just, you know, coming into this year, I knew they would be a really good offense. And defensively, I thought they would kind of step back a little bit. But they have really well improved on both sides of the ball. Offensively, you look at it defensively, um, they're 17th on offense and 20th on defense. Um, this Utah team is really good at stopping, you know, the run. So, I mean, they're, they're really good at stopping the run. The passing yards are kind of similar as well, but, you know, 
Both of these teams are good at stopping the run. I think it's going to come down to the passing game for both of these teams. So you got two veteran quarterbacks here going at it with Clifford and Rising. It's going to be a pretty good matchup. I can't really wait to see this game. And I think this is the bowl game of the year. Like, maybe the bowl game of the year and probably the game of the bowl season. All right, let's go to the game summary. Uh, this is a 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time bowl game on January the 2nd. So it's about after New Year's Day. So it will be on ESPN. Um, this one's in California. Of course, it's the Rose Bowl. We got Utah favored by three points, so about a field goal. And the over and under is at 52. So they're expecting a lot of points being scored in this game. And if you look at the FBI, they give Utah about a 57% chance to beat Penn State. And they only give Penn State about a 42% chance. But I think it's kind of higher than that. I think both teams have a really good shot of beating each other by not really a bunch of a percentage. But... You see Penn State comes into this game at 10-2. They're on a winning streak after losing to Ohio State. And then you got Utah that just won the Pac-12 championship. So both of these teams have great offensive teams, and they are also got plenty of weapons on the defensive side. I think it's going to be a really big shootout. I'm, I think I'm going to really call it right now. It's going to be a shootout here between two great offensive teams. I think defensively, you know, it's going to be a defensive game in the first half. Maybe the second half it will start to pick up for the offenses, but... Um, there's the game summary there. Like I said, the FBI is giving about Utah a 57% chance to win this game. So Utah's favored going into this one by the FBI. Uh, the three-point go, they're favored in this one by the line. So Utah's favored by a field goal. That's the game summary. All right, now it's time to give you my score prediction. Here's how the game I think will go down. I got Penn State, obviously, the you know better offense a little bit. Or maybe not the better offense, maybe the better defense, but Utah is the better offense in this game. And like I said, this game is going to come down to a shootout. Um, it's probably going to be who I think will win this one by a field goal or maybe like a game-winning touchdown late in the fourth quarter. I think this is how it's going to go down. Penn State will be up at the half. Um, maybe they're up by three at the half or the defense makes some really good stops, but then Utah starts to pick it up and the shootout really begins. I think it's going to be a high-scoring game like I said, I think this is the bowl game of the year coming into the bowl season. And that's why I think with a shootout here and Utah is also favored by three, I'm going to put them to win this game by three. I'm going to go with Utah here in this Pac-12, in the um, Rose Bowl. Um, so I'm going to go with the Pac-12 team here. And I got Utah winning this one by three, 52 to 49. I know that's a high scoring game, but I just really like what these teams are doing on offense. I think it's really both a shootout. I think both quarterbacks really shine in this game, and they start to really pick up where they left off, you know, in their games, in the last regular season game. So I like this motivation of the Utah team. I think they will win 11 games to end out the year. Penn State, though, will come up short, but I think they really have a good shot to beat this Utah team. So I think they will have a really big shot. But that's my um, Rose Bowl prediction. Uh, let me guys know what you think. Who will win this game? Will it be Penn State? Um, vote for Penn State um, or vote for Utah. Who do you think will win this one? And we'll continue to do these predictions throughout this week. Tomorrow is the um, All-State Sugar Bowl. Wednesday will be the Cotton Bowl. And then the Thursday will be the Orange Bowl. And that's another interesting game right there. But this, to me, right here is the bowl game of the year. Coming up right here for January the 2nd. So let me guys know what you think about this prediction. What did you think about it? And stay tuned here for more on the Lucas Ross Sports Channel.